Mike Skinner with Devadigm recording another WordPress video tutorial. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up special promotions using the Black Friday Deals plugin from Pinwick Plugins. So once you have purchased and installed the plugin, you would log into your WordPress dashboard and hover over Pinwick Plugins and then click on Black Friday Deals. They made it really easy to set this up. They have Black Friday and Cyber Monday already set up with the dates for the current year. So you could rename the event if you'd like to, and they already have the deal beginning and ending at the beginning and end of Black Friday, but you could extend that if you wanted to run it for a couple days or over the weekend or whatnot. You would just save the time frame you want to run the promotion for, and then you'll want to start thinking about what products you're going to have uh, on sale and what type of sale are you going to have. Uh, it could just be a percentage off, it could be a fixed dollar amount off, or you could even have you know, buy one, get one, BOGO type sales. So each promotion, or I should say each event, such as Black Friday deal, can have multiple different sales. So we'll go ahead and create our first deal for Black Friday. And the first example we're gonna set up is for a sale on gift cards. You have a few options here. You could either choose a category of products, um, that are set up within your WooCommerce uh, product list and categories, or you could actually even search for specific products. So we'll go ahead and do a search for gift cards. And uh, we have you know, different denominations of gift cards, but I'm gonna choose the, the full gift card product. And we'll hit next. And then this is where you would choose what type of a sale it is, if it's a percent, a fixed amount, or a BOGO. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a buy one, get one uh, promotion. And you can choose if it's buy one, get one free, or if it's buy one, get one, you know, or a percentage off. So we'll go ahead and do a buy one, get one 50% off. And then we'll click next. And then you can choose if you want to have uh, a coupon code required. If you enter a coupon code, then the user obviously has to enter that in to get the promotion. If you exclude that and leave a blank, then everybody who buys that product will receive that discount. It'll be automatically applied. You can also limit the quantities. So for a gift card promotion, for example, you may only want to sell you know, one or two or three and not let somebody go and buy um, a high amount at the discounted rate. So we'll go ahead and set a limit on the gift cards and we'll click next. And then you want to name the deal. Um, and this is a name that the uh, customers will see on the front end of your website. So make sure it's it makes sense to what the deal is and that it's appropriate. And you can go ahead and choose whether or not you show the expiration date um, on the product page as well. And then click on finish. And then it just saves that promotion um, as part of, or I'm sorry, it saves that special as part of the promotional event that you've created. And you can have multiple promotions for each event. So we'll go ahead and create a second one. And in this promotion, we're going to give 20% off of women's bracelets. And so one thing I wanna show you is that if you can go to the categories here, and we're gonna go ahead and select bracelets. So it'll mark all bracelets. But like I said, this cell is only for women's bracelets. So we're gonna go down here to the excluded categories, and we are going to select men's bracelets. So that way, um, every bracelet on the site that is not marked as a men's bracelet category will be on sale. We'll go ahead and click next. And there you have the 20% as the default in there uh, for the discount. So we'll go ahead and accept that and click next. Uh, again, no coupon code, we want everyone to receive this. So we'll go ahead and click on next. And then we'll enter in the name of the deal so that people can see what it is, 20% off women's bracelets and click on finish. And so now this event is set up in, in just a matter of minutes to where it'll automatically start at midnight, the morning of Friday, November 27th, and it will run until 11.59 p.m. on that same day. So if you go to the site now, you won't see any kind of, of seller or discount, uh, but you will that day and it automatically ends at that evening. Of course, you can go edit the promotions. They even have a feature where you can add in a countdown. So if you want to showcase that on your website and show a countdown until the promotion starts, you could do that. Um, and then of course, if you change your mind or whatnot, or after it's done, you can always delete the event. And that's how you set up promotions using the Black Friday Deals plugin from P Pimwick Plugins. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. You can find more videos and articles on our website, devadime.com. 
and feel free to join us on social media. You can find at Davidime on Facebook and Twitter. Also, if you did find this video helpful, I would love for you to let me know on Twitter. Just tweet me with the hashtag DavidimeVideoTutorial.